Well, I haven't seen you for a while since. Uh, I've missed you, Pete. I've missed you too since January. Um, has um, has Sido bedded, uh, buried back in <laughs> the squad? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen you for ages. I'm inquisitive. Who? Has, has he got his head down? Is he back to normal? No, Sido's worked out, yeah. He's got his head back on it, on, you know, on it and um, he's done well in the couple of games that we've played and he looks fitter and sharper. Um, but no, you know, we're pleased to have him back and focused and ready to go. Because you said you, you lost your player, if you like, last August. Have you got him back? No, I'm not, I'm not like I say, I, we do, I don't want to go over old ground. I think everybody's fed up with talking about one individual. The, uh, the most important thing is the game tomorrow, um, FA Cup tie. Fifth round, you know, it's going to be a tough game. I think Reading are a good team, a good championship side. They've got some players um, that can hurt you, and I think it's going to be a really tough game. We're taking 4,000 people down there, so it'll be a great atmosphere. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. Well, I am. I hope the players are. Did you just one final thing, as Colombo would say? But um, tackle with McCarthy and, and Sido, the res retrospective committee. There, there was no tackle with Sido and McCarthy, otherwise, they would have dealt with it. I was a little bit disappointed with Roberto, actually, in, in respect of um, trying to bring something up after we'd won the game. It's, it almost smells of sour grapes and, you know, you don't need that. You know, we've gone there and um, we've won a game of football and then people are looking for other things to, you know, to moan and groan about. Um, you know, there was an incident in that game that happened to me and I've not said a word about it. Um, because I don't think it's relevant. You know, the game of football is the most important thing. And um, like I say, I was really disappointed with uh, with him bringing it up um, afterwards, to be honest. Is it one of those situations where you've lost the game and you try and deflect it by saying something else? You said that, not me. What was, it, what was your reading of it? No, I'm, I've, I've just told you I was disappointed that, uh, that it was brought up. And, you know, thank goodness nothing was made of it because there was nothing there. Was there, any, was there a tackle or not? <laughs> well, I, I didn't see it. Did you see it? You know, there. There's enough cameras there to, to have picked something up. So, like I say, the disappointing thing for me was that, you know, another manager after the game, you know, is uh, is trying to find something that uh, that could affect this football club. And this football club has nothing to do with him. As, um, it was a good win. Your relationship... Thank you, Pete. Well, it was. <laughs> your, your relationship with the fans, <coughs> is that easy? Is it getting back? You you have good times, you have bad times. It's it's like a marriage. You have up, ups and downs, and and you have to roll with it. Um, you know, I've never ever ever um, done anything but respect the supporters that I've managed football clubs for, and and that will never cease. You know, they pay their money. You know, they, I'm just a custodian of this football club for a period of time, and that period of time is really determined by how successful you are, how successful you're not. And you have to accept that, you know, people will like you, people won't like you, people will want you to, to do certain things and other people will want you to do other things. And you have to you have to accept that. That's part and parcel of management. I've been in it long enough now to accept that, you know, you are going to get criticism at times and you are going to get plaudits and you, you roll with it. As I keep saying, you know, you mustn't get too carried away with things and you mustn't get too despondent. It seems uh, otherwise, it, it's sort of like it'll, you know, drive you insane. I'm seems... nearly there, but <laughs> not quite getting, yet. You're actually getting better. Um, <laughs> but it seems to be a strange year for it, doesn't it? I mean, you know, Mourinho's already gone. Van Gaal gets food, <laughs> he gets abused. Pellegrini's still in, you know, most competitions. He knows he's gone. You, you get the flack. It, it just seems to be that every everybody at the moment. <laughs> You know, can, can get booed. No, I, I, it's, 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 it's not. A, I think it's just the way it is, and I think you have to. As I've just said, I think you have to accept it. it. It comes with the territory. You know, nobody's forced me to do this job. Nobody's forced me to to to. Uh, it's never forced me to become and be a manager for over twenty odd years. I've done it because I love the job. I love football. Um, it's my life, um, and I accept what goes with it. And I, I think criticism. If you can't take a bit of criticism, then. Um, yeah, don't become a manager. You seem to be enjoying yourself, though, Tony. Would you like to talk about extending your contract at some point? Uh, my contract's personal, and and you know if I'm going to discuss my contract um, with anybody, then I'll be the chairman of the football club, and certainly not through the press. Or no disrespect to you, Pete, through you. But I know you like um, a long-term <laughs> development, and you you're not anywhere near. 
with no, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't see it that way. I just see that, um, you know, that I've, I've got a job on Saturday. The most important thing for me to do is try and get this club into the quarterfinals of, of the FA Cup. Yeah. If we can do that in the next game is Palace and we've got to try and win that game to secure and help secure Premier League football. And we've got to try and finish as high as we possibly can in this league. And that's, Pete, I, I go from game to game. I'm, I'm not one of them that, you know, worries about what's going to happen two months down the ta- uh, down the, the, the pipe. That's not my game. If you got this club to Wembley, they wouldn't be booing you then, would they? Let's get it to the quarterfinals first. How big a deal would it be? You like you like the cup? No, I, I, I've, as I've said, and, and my team will show tomorrow. You know, I'll pick a strong team tomorrow. I'll pick a team to win win the game. Um, you know, it's um, it's important for me, and I just, as I say, I just hope the players are. Um, are motivated and up for it as much as as I'll be, and I'm sure the four thousand supporters will travel. Will, will be if we, if we can do it in one game, we can do it in one game. You know, I'm sure Reading will be the same. Reading will want to get it over in one game. You don't want continuation of the the fixture. You know that that's another week, midweek game. It's another three game week, and it makes it difficult. And it has been difficult for us over a period because of injuries and and everything else. But if it takes two games, it takes two games. And um, you know we've accepted that in the first first two rounds of the competition. Um, I think tomorrow will be our this will be our toughest game so far. We've got a question of a doubt. Like I said, they've got some good players. I know Brian. You know he's a smashing fella, Brian, and they'll be well up for it. So it'll be a proper cup tie tomorrow.